There are three types of people that go to the gym. People trying to lose weight, people trying to stay healthy, and beefcakes. As a solid member of group two, I spend a lot more time in these uncomfortably full places, pushing heavy things up and down, left and right, for no reason other than to burn energy that our lifestyles don't utilize. As I'm going to the gym for one purpose, I usually wear over-ear headphones and play my music loudly to avoid hearing the grunting and mundane conversations that happen around me. Unfortunately, there's a certain sound made by group three which makes it through these brilliant people avoidance measures. The sound of dropping weights. This is usually a sound made by a man with arms so big he looks like he's delivering watermelons to a beer festival, often complete with short stature and a protruding belly. The worst part is this is usually performed in front of a big red sign that says, please do not drop the weights. Now being theoretically open-minded, I did a bit of research to see if these people are mentally handicapped or if they actually have a valid reason for doing this. Apparently this is a technique used by professionals to avoid injury, often when reaching the point of no return when it's either you or the weight. I get this, I mean who hasn't picked something up and realised this isn't going to end well? But here's a useful tip. If you can't put the weight down without dropping it, it's too heavy for you. You're not impressing anybody by lifting heavy things. Machines do that for us now. So avoid injury and the collective hate of the gym by using weights you can actually manage. You're welcome.